Big Cat here, paws up. And this is my landing page for BUSR. BUSR is the hottest new sports betting partners, home of the exclusive double down deposit within 24 hours of your initial deposit. Whether it's the first basket, first kick, or whether it's the first pitch, BUSR has you covered. Sign up now with the official sports betting partner, home of the double down deposit, 24 hours after your initial deposit. SeatGeek, for all your ticketed events, from sporting to concert outings, SeatGeek has you covered. They even conveniently color-coded each ticket on their website from amazing to worse, so you can easily know which are the best deals. SeatGeek, the smart way to buy. Save $20 off your next ticket purchase with the promo code KEYPOUNDINTV. Hey everybody, I'm your host, the Grande Gato, also known as the Big Cat. My cool guys, put your balls up if you're rocking with the Big Cat. Something stinks. Smell like pad pussy. Pearl out of Panthers, head coach. Matt Rule releases Davion Nixon, former Big Ten All-Defensive Player of the Year, former draft pick of Matt Rule's. But it's not the fact that they released him. It's what they had to say about why. Let's talk about it. Last kid into it. If you see this face, that means I score. Before we get started, Pete. Did y'all hear that? Before we get started, Pete. Man, somebody's already in here. Peeper, what do you want? Help me get this peeper away, y'all. Peeping, no peeping. Peep it, do your dance, peeper. Do your dance. <laughs> Look, man, if you're new to the channel, man, make sure you subscribe. Click that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Nobody likes a peeper. Only you can prevent peeping. You're here for a reason. You like the channel. If you're here to hate, at least subscribe, then hate me, all right? <laughs> also, be sure to follow me over at Twitter at Keep Pounding TV. The second channel, Keep Pounding TV podcast on YouTube. Once we get to 10,000 subscribers over there, we get away three Xbox Series S's. Be sure to follow us on Discord as well. That's the only way you can become a member as well. Head over to Keep Pounding TV podcast on TikTok. Follow me over at uh, KeepPoundingTVShop.com. Get you a really cool Paws Up t-shirt and a whole bunch of other podcast merchandise. What did I miss? Uh, yeah, wherever else we are. Now, with that being said, y'all, got some disturbing news here. Six days before the season, we should really be focusing on holding our debt, holding our debt and <laughs> figuring out strategies and how to apply our debt to, to the game on Sunday. <laughs> well, Matt Rue had other ideas. The Carolina Panthers released defensive end or defensive tackle Davion Nixon, former Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year from 2020, and he was drafted under Matt Rule. Here's what he had to say. And I quote, these things are tough. You have to make the tough decisions. Davion's obviously a person we drafted, had a tough injury last year coming into this year, but we couldn't go into the year with that many defense alignment. We've been happy with McCall or McCorn and McCall and Phil Hoskins, all right? So with that decision we had to make, that was the decision we had to make. Now, close quote. That's okay. I actually like McCall and I actually like Phil Hoskins, both guys who play good, man. You know, they play good in the preseason and Phil Hoskins played really good last year as well when he had his opportunity. Um, so I don't want to, I don't want to, what I'm about to say has nothing to do with those fellas, man. I think they earned their spot. Nobody should lose their job that he just named. Really good quality pieces that we got there. Problem is, Will Conkle of Fox Sports Charlotte had this to say, and I quote, A lot of fans were surprised that the Panthers cut Davion Nixon today. I am told that the team thought he just didn't have the skills to play at the NFL level. Close quote. You know, man, I, I'm, I'm pissed, man. I'm pissed. I'm pissed about this, man. I'm pissed about this. According to Will Conkle, again, you know, these are NFL reporters. We just had a line bitch um, lie on Baker Mayfield. So let me be considerate of that information. But if this stands to be true, shame on, shame on Matt Rue and company. Shame on them. If this is to be true, let me add that disclaimer. And the reason being is you drafted this guy. Your scouting team scouted this guy. If I'm not mistaken, I think Federer had a hand in it too. Because this guy was 2020. Was Federer there yet? But I know for sure Matt Rue was there. Your, your, your posse scouted this guy. So if you believe he couldn't play at the NFL level, 
you, your scouting department, and anybody else that signed off on it needs to be fired today. 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 This, is, this, is, this pisses me off, man. This goes back to my theory that I have, y'all. And the Carolina Panthers don't develop talent. Never have developed talent beyond the superstar level. That's the reason why when guys like Jake DeLome, when, when, when they have their little run, everybody gets hyped up and then we're chasing quarterbacks for five more years. That's when guys like Cam Newton comes in. <laughs> he has his nine year, eight year here. Now we're back to, you know why? Because we never had a contingency plan in place or we never had guys behind them to develop. Now what happens, you know, sorry, y'all, give me a second. It's, it's not that I that I believe this guy is a superstar. So please, somebody's probably watching it. He, he think he's a superstar. <laughs> he's a nobody. We cut a nobody. Uh-uh. Yeah, because a nobody becomes defensive player of the year in the Big Ten, one of the be- best conferences in the football. Uh, uh, and because of uh, uh, the Big Ten defensive player of the year, and you know everybody does that. <laughs> you can do that. You know what I mean? My, my thing is, it's another wasted draft pick. I'm, I'm, I'm hot from both sides, all right? So I'm hot because I feel like we wasted a draft pick, all right? One of many. Same way, if you guys don't remember, we just let we let the long snapper go. The, under Matt Rules, guy, under Matt Rules, watch, drafted a long snapper, and he's gone. Now Davion Nixon's gone. Under Matt Rules, watch, gone. Blowing draft pick, man, like he used to blow timeouts. Beep, chain smoking, beep, chain smoking timeouts like he did last year. And then you do it six days before the season. Now, there was a 53-man roster cut literally about two weeks ago. It wasn't, yeah. This sounds like an old classic case of uh, my quiet pride. And if you don't believe this nigga got a quiet pride, and I mean by Matt Rule, this nigga got an ego. It's it's quiet ego. He's Aquarius, I know. (laughs) He has a quiet ego. (laughs) This strikes me as, you know what I mean, you didn't want to follow my under my my uh, leadership or dictatorship or whatever's going on in that locker room. You didn't want to get with my program. You didn't want to do things my way. So sayonara. You know what I mean? Same way with Denzel Perryman. Now, mind you, Denzel Perryman came into camp, had an injury. He missed a couple weeks, came back, got healthy. He got injured again. On top of that, he didn't want to take the vaccine shot. And guess what? They got him out of there, traded him. Then he turned around and became a pro bowler. <laughs> Quiet ego shit. This has nothing to do with football. This has nothing to do with we have plenty of depth on the chart. Let's take a look at the depth chart real quick. Because that that was a lot that was a load of baloney too, man. You know what I mean? You you're not in a position to be trimming probably the, the, the weakest part of our defense right now, which is the D line. You're not in a position to be trimming anybody. But look on your screen right here, the front, uh, uh, you know, the starters, Brian Burns, uh, Derek Brown, Matt Ionitis. YGM behind him. You got Marquise Haynes, Phil Hoskin, Bravion Roy, Amari Barno, and you got Maquan McCall. Now you mean to tell me you can't find any kind of way to use a six foot five, three hundred and ten pound athletic, hell of an athletic big man. You know what I mean? Probably one of the quickest jumps on, on that line of scrimmage there. Yeah, he had problems getting off blocks. Yeah, he can get a little sticky at times. But when it comes to actually being flexible on those pads, shooting the gap with precision, he has it. He has it. And I'm, and if you guys are expecting backup players to be perfect, then you guys don't know fucking football. You don't know football. The game of football is not meant for perfection. It's meant for you to play as a unit and bring the best out of it. You're saying, I want you to be perfect after one year. I can't do nothing with you after one year. That's on the coaching staff, man. Now, I'm not saying he's the greatest defense end. Defense. I think, personally, you could rotate him in as defense end. You got you got Amari Barno sitting behind YGM, which is cool, but you're going to put that kind of pressure on him? We know YGM hasn't been healthy. That's proven the fact that he hasn't been healthy. I guess you're saying you're going to rotate Marquise Haynes over. I, I don't know what we're going to do. But six days before the before the game, you make this kind of move. I'm baffled. And then you're bringing a 31 year old guy from New England, which I'm pretty sure you you, you and Bill Belichick's are buddies. 
So you probably just say, hey, you got anybody that's a good character guy? Give me a good character guy. <laughs> oh, I don't. By the way, Henry Anderson, the guy we brought in, this nigga, he got a whole, he got a whole highlight on YouTube. Him punching niggas in the back and shit. <laughs> Hitting niggas at the whistles and stuff. You know what I mean? I don't know, man. I don't know. And just to mention how vindictive and how how wishy-washy this is, if you look on your screen, again, that same reporter, Will Conkle, from August of 2021, has Matt Rue on record telling that Matt uh, that Davion Nixon was one of the biggest surprises in camp uh, coming out of Iowa. He said he had a lot of flashes. Now, what changed, man? That guy is still that same guy. You know what I mean? Now, if, if I had to say something, maybe maybe, maybe it's something we're not privy to. Maybe this dude had an attitude. Maybe he, he wasn't with the program. You know what I mean? Maybe he was like, you know, wasn't happy with the game plan. I'm not going to get in the game. Maybe he wasn't happy with that. Maybe he became, I don't know. I, I can only assume this. Or maybe Matt Rule just, you know, just said, hey, this guy really wasn't that good. Uh, he, we feel like these guys are better. I couldn't do nothing with I just find it hard to believe that you can't use a former Big Ten defensive player of the year at all. At all. I just, I just don't, I don't, I, that baffles me. I, I, I don't know how. I just, I just, I don't know how, man. But I tell you what, man. You know, if shit don't pan out in the run game when it comes to stopping that run defense, mm, if we ain't getting no pressures, I ain't talking about just week one. So a lot of you guys are probably going to go out there. You're going to watch the Cleveland Browns. They're probably going to look like shit. We're going to destroy them. Yeah, I told you. I told you. I told you, big guy. I told you. I told you. I told you. I told you. I told you we could do it. <laughs> Halfway through the season, them same niggas will be gone. You won't be able to find them. So my point is, man, if these guys don't show up, and I mean the front defensive line, and, and, and mainly, mainly and particularly the backup guys, Somebody got to go, man. Somebody just got to go, man. Shit getting insane, bro. She got to go, bro. Erratic ass decisions, bro. You know? Hot about this, man. You don't do that, man. Then it leaks out that you you felt like he can't play at the NFL level. But that disrespect, bro. That disrespect. Nah, nigga, you don't deserve to... <laughs> Imagine, imagine, imagine you, bro. Imagine you being six foot five, three hundred and ten pounds, and being an accomplished college player. Then have some nerdy box head motherfucker tell you you ain't got no talent at all at this level. Huh. Y'all know the Latrell Sprewell story? <laughs> that would have had to have been him. <laughs> That would have been his shit. <laughs> that would have been his shit all in that front office. That would have had security. Security, get this monkey up out of here. You know? Or maybe maybe Matt Rule's being, you know, just to be fair, maybe Matt Rule was right. Maybe the nigga can't play. Which I just finally, I find that highly suspect, man. Well, we'll see what it do, man. Shit. What I know, man. I'm just a YouTuber with a cat head on. I'm your host, I'm running guy to also known as the Big Cat. My cook up with paws up. Rocking with the Big Cat, man. Is this BS, man? Get in the calm section. Let me know, man. <laughs> this is the right move, man. Is Matt Rule, you know what I mean? Is Matt Rule just, just wasting draft picks? Or maybe, am I tripping, man? Just keep it a buck. Am I tripping? Be respectful now. If you tell me I'm tripping, be respectful. Don't, don't get across the line. But, uh, yeah, man. I don't know, man. Go Panthers, man. Let's beat these Browns. Make sure I subscribe. Check out the Spotify. Check out the Amazon Music. Check out the Apple Music. Panthers on Sensor on all Spotify, Amazon, uh, uh, wherever the fuck I'm at. Just find me, nigga. I'm mad about this, man. Let's get up out of here, y'all. Let the church say, Paul's up. Keep pounding. Caroline on top. Forever, baby. Thank you guys for watching the channel. Be sure to subscribe. Hang around for a little bit and check out one of these two really cool videos.